Hey guys, what's going on? Professor here, and today I'm coming at you with my first ever LEGO Marvel review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing set number 76126, the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. This set's recommended for ages 8 and up, comes with 838 pieces. So guys, as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to go down smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below letting me know what you think about this set. But that all out of the way, let's jump straight into it. Obviously, here you can see the box. Uh, all the information that I spewed out at the beginning is up there on the left. I really like this kind of action scene they have going on here with Ultimate Quinjet flying around. It also shows the little, like, uh, speed, or not speeder, a uh, little, like, cart, I guess you'd call it. I'm not entirely sure uh, what you'd call that vehicle down there. Uh, but you see all the minifigures. I really like the Thor up there kind of flying around. You got the lightning effects on the box. That's something that I really enjoy. You can see the six minifigures included on the bottom right of the box. You get the two Chitauri, uh, the one Rocket minifigure, one Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Thor included. And then also on the right side, the very right side of the box, uh, they come with the very clean A from the Avengers logo. And then also a nice graphic showing off some of the heroes that show up in the movie uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, nothing really much going on with the side. Although this is a nice inclusion as well. It's kind of like that same uh, thing over here on this side, but uh, with them in minifigure form. So you can kind of compare that there. That's also something pretty cool. On the back, just like normal, you have all the features that are included. Up here, they show you how to use that uh, like rotating stud shooter. They show you that you can uh, insert, or I guess you can, I guess say store this little uh, car that I was talking about earlier in there. There's seating for the uh, characters inside. And then you can also pull out this rotating stud shooter and store it in there if you would like. Nothing much going on with the top there. Uh, the bottom pretty bland. And then obviously nothing really going on with the other side either. So that's pretty much it for the box. So as you can see, if I move this box out of the way, I'll put this right here. So you can see that this is a pretty large model. Obviously with the 838 pieces, I did forget to mention this sold for $80.00. Uh, in the US, but right now at most retail stores, uh, you can actually get this for $64. So this is definitely a great deal uh, if you do buy it at like a Walmart or Target. Uh, you're definitely getting your bang for, some bang for your buck, excuse me. Um, but this set comes with a ton of features and a ton of great minifigures, uh, and that's what I'm going to show you guys today, starting off with those minifigures. So let me move them into position here so I can show them off to you guys. So as you can see right here, we're going to start with Hawkeye. Um, so I do like how they included to start uh, the ac mostly accurate hair pieces. Um, from Avengers Endgame, a lot of the heroes, I guess you could say hair, like hair changes around uh, because of like, I don't know, if, spoiler warning, I guess. Click off now, uh, not major spoilers, but uh, in the movie, there's like that time card where it says five years later. And so then a lot of the characters go through some stuff. Um, and that includes some hair changes. So that is something that I did like. Uh, they got the new spiky for Hawkeye. Um, I think his face is a little off. Nothing super special there. Also, unfortunately, they do include the same body and legs for all the same uh, heroes, minifigures in this set. So Black Widow, Thor, and Hawkeye here all have the same legs. Um, Rocket has short legs, so those are different, but they do all have the same torsos. But it does have some nice detailing. So that is pretty cool. They're in their Quantum Realm suits. Um, like I said earlier, though, going back to Hawkeye's face, uh, not entirely a fan of it. Um, it's kind of bland. I would like to see a little bit more emotion. Uh, obviously, on the other side, because all the minifigures, except the Chitari, are double-faced, um, you do get a little bit more emotion, kind of like that grimace, I guess you could say. Um, on the back here, there's also some printing, which I'll show you on some of the other minifigures. That's also the same. Can't quite see it on here. But he does have this where he uh, stores his arrows. And then he also does have the black bow, which was a nice inclusion, obviously, because that is his, like, signature weapon in the movies. So next, moving on to Thor here, which is probably my personal favorite minifigure because of his face. Uh, they also nailed his hairpiece excellently, obviously, after uh, the first two Thor movies and moving into Thor Ragnarok. He kind of, I guess you could say, shaved his hair throughout the beard, so I think they did his hair pieces uh, perfectly. Um, but like I said, the main reason I love this guy is because of his face. I love the lightning eyes and then the angry face on him. It looks absolutely amazing. 
as you can see here he's holding stormbreaker you have the brown handle to resemble groot's uh chopped off arm you got the axe piece over here that's amazing and then on the back side you just have like a kind of normal face if you don't want him uh, to have those lightning eyes. But this is also the back side of the torso that you couldn't see on Hawkeye. This is the same thing that is on all those minifigures. So not much going on right there, but Thor, definitely my favorite minifigure from this set. Next, we got Black Widow here, who is probably one of my least favorite minifigures from this set, just because even though the hairpiece is pretty accurate to the movie, it's not my favorite hairpiece on Black Widow, and they really didn't nail her face. So, to be honest, this minifigure really doesn't remind me of Black Widow. I also don't know what her weapons are that she's holding. I guess, like, some, like, sort of taser sticks or something. I honestly don't know, because she doesn't really have a signature weapon. She's just this kind of all-around uh, assassin-type character. So, not really much going on there, showing you her other face is more of, like, an angry face going along with the majority of the other characters in this set. But yeah, torso, uh, piece, and legs are the exact same. Not much going on with her. The final hero in this set is Rocket Raccoon, who, as I said earlier, does have the same torso piece, but does have the short legs, so no printing there. Comes with a nice little uh, brick-built blaster, I guess you could say. And then he also, in between his legs and his torso, has this nice tail piece, which is a really nice inclusion. And then this kind of like head shoulder pad thing is all one piece. Obviously, he doesn't have two faces because this is his face uh but yeah as you can see this is all just one piece and then you can just put it right back on very nicely and it holds in place you also do get the inclusion of two chitari minifigures and uh for those who have not been following the mcu for very long may not really know why these are included in this set or who they are these were the uh, minions that fought for loki in the battle of new york from the original avengers movie so they did not appear in uh the m or excuse me marvel's uh avengers endgame there we go Ooh, i forgot the name of the movie there um they do not appear in avengers endgame to my knowledge although no actually now that i think about it i lied i lied the final battle this is that's when they appear couldn't i'm trying to rehash the movie in my mind these actually do appear in the movie they appear in that final battle against all the heroes in avengers endgame uh, but they do come with some nice detailing here, obviously. A nice brick-built blaster for both of them. Um, some great chest detailing here. You get some nice coloring. Uh, the face I like is also, they have, kind of have like those angry open mouths. That's a really nice touch. And then also, uh, like to kind of continue the helmet design on the back. Unfortunately, it doesn't also continue on the sides. Uh, but I do like that they included that there on the back. And then also comes with some nice back printing. So not too much going on with this Chitauri minifigure, uh, but I do really like the detail that they did add into it. So those are the six minifigures that are included in this set. So I'll move the actual Quinjet back over here. Uh, so the main feature here, as you can see right on the back, is going to be this rotating stud shooter here. Uh, I'll move this a little bit closer. It does have this mobility, uh, which I'll actually show back here. There's a little hatch where I currently have the little car thing stored. Uh, you can move that around. But you could also put this in here and then close that up if you want to have it concealed. Or you can have it out like I pre uh, prefer to have. And then I can store this car in here as well. Um, but yeah, this is just like one of your normal rotating stud shooters. So you rotate it and then you'll fire the blast off. You honestly probably can't even see them getting shot off. But now my clip is empty. So uh, there we go. I just shot them all off. Uh, moving on to this little car thing, uh, I guess it's a nice little addition. It's kind of a way that you can uh, have one of your Avengers kind of rolling around, doing whatever he wants. Uh, it does come with two stud shooters here on the front. Two wheels in the front, one thicker wheel in the back. Uh, not really much going on with this thing. Uh, I guess it's nice inclusion, but nothing really special there. So like I said, put this right in here, and then obviously you can close that right up. Uh, there's a little bit of mobility on this set um, that I don't necessarily know is, I guess you could say, intended. Like right back here, these things can move up and down. Uh, I don't really know that you would want to have them up because I personally think they look a little weird. Uh, so I keep them down like it has it in the instruction manual. Uh, there's also a little bit of like mobility up here with these pieces, but that's just because they're not completely locked in uh, for them. Like if you're not touching them, they're going to stay in place. But if you want to like, I guess, move them around as you're swooshing it, you can. And then these like wing tips on the sides can move up and down. This was definitely intentional because you have the uh, ball and joint sockets right there 
that allowed that to happen. So that was definitely something that was intentional. Um, up in the front here, you have two stud shooters on the side, one over here and one over here. And then you also get a nice little cockpit area that is easy to push up. And then as you can see right in there, you have your seat. You kind of have a little, uh, in, or not instruction manual, but a little electronic panel of controls that you can use to control the ship, put that down. And then you can also open up this little mini middle section uh, with two parts. So this part comes up and then you can also lift up this part. And then you do get a nice interior to play with. As I said earlier, uh, you get the two seats. There's plenty of like clips and stuff to hook things onto. If you would like to do that, you want to hold some weapons in there. Uh, it can, you can fit more than two people in there, uh, but there's only two seats to actually seat two people at a time. But once you're done with that, you can just put the, push that down, push that down, and then it closes up very nicely. Uh, but other than that, there's not a ton of like, I guess you could say, um, like mobility features. The majority of play that comes with this set is the two front stud shooters, the ability to kind of load your Quinjet up and then take people out. And then also this hatch in the back that allows you to open up the rotating stud shooter, which is, in my opinion, the main attraction to this set in terms of playability. Um, it is very easy to hold. There's no specific handle that you can use, but there is like a nice little area down here that you can hold and you can kind of swoosh it around if you want to, if that's something that you're into. Uh, but overall, I think that this is a very nice set that looks very good on display if that's something that you like to do. Uh, but if it's something where you want to kind of play around with it, have it uh, reenact some scenes or something, uh, fighting any enemy ships or something like that. That is definitely also something you can do as this comes with a ton of playability features. And is overall, in my opinion, uh, probably the best, or at least the top, one of the top two best sets released from the Avengers Endgame line in terms of Lego, because there wasn't a ton of strong sets. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely up there on my list for those sets. And I would definitely recommend buying this, especially at $64 for what you're getting. This is an absolute steal. So guys, that'll be it for this one. If you did enjoy this review of the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet, don't forget to go down there, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this set. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.